retina. Okay, this is the lateral geniculate body. This is your right side. This is your left side. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let us draw with some other color. Okay, so from the like uh, from if we like to draw, there are two kinds of fibers. Okay, the nasal fibers and the so the lateral fibers and the medial fibers. Okay, so the lateral fibers will go laterally to the lateral part of the retina. Okay, and some of the fibers I make it different colors. Okay, some of the fibers that will. go to the other side okay so it goes on like this okay so similarly from the other side the medial fibers will go and relay here and the lateral fibers will go laterally to the lateral part of that eye okay so the main confusion lies here only okay one important point okay <coughs> this is regarding what you see okay so suppose uh, this is your left eye okay so what the left part of uh, the lateral part which is known as the temporal retina okay and the medial part is known as nasal part okay similarly nasal part of the right eye and nasal part uh, nasal part of retina of right eye and temporal part of retina of left right eye okay is this clear are you clear with this terminology yes okay so whatever ends on the suppose whatever ends here on the uh, left side of the socket projects right side of the visual field okay so this nasal part of the retina would, would be seeing the temporal part of the visual field okay and the temporal part would be seeing the temporal retina would be seeing the nasal part of the visual field okay so let us study the defects one by one okay so so the first defect would be here first defect would be here okay so we have cut the right optic nerve so, total blindness so what will what will happen right total blindness in the right eye blindness in the blind total blindness in the right side yes so it would be something like this it's a lateral loss of yes there will be it's a lateral loss one important rule you need to remember okay before optic chiasma everything is lost as ipsilateral mm. and up post uh, or beyond optic chiasma everything will be contralateral contralateral okay so this one rule you can remember okay now second uh, defect 
somewhere here. See what again? Reflect at the optic chiasma. So what will happen? What is gone? The nasal, the medial fibers or the crossing fibers are gone. Okay. So the nasal part of the retina is affected. That means the temporal, both the temporal fields of both the eyes, you cannot see. Right? Yeah. So this is something like this. Okay, so what is this known as? Both the temporal are gone. By temporal hemianopia. Yes, by temporal. No, by temporal hemianopia. Hemianopia. Optic chiasma mm. This is not homonymous. Okay, homonymous is the one that you can superimpose. You cannot superimpose these two images. Okay, so this is heteronymous hemianopia. Right. Once again, mm -hmm. what you were saying about homonymous and heteronymous? These two are these two are like imagine these to be separate images. If you superimpose them, okay, will it be the same same image? Can it they be superimposed? No, because the that nasal is the opposite sides. Both the nasal sides are affected. Yes. And vision from the temporal yes. side is lost. So like both is on the lateral side. The and side will be this is homonymous. This is homonymous. Hmm. This cannot be superimposed, The this one. So this is heteronymous hemianopia. Okay, it can be called as heteronymous or bitemporal hemianopia. Okay, now the third one. So remember what I said, beyond optic chiasma, everything is contra lateral yes yes okay so now what will happen here i have cut the right optic tract left sided left sided nasal fibers and right sided temporal fibers uh, sorry, left sided nasal fibers and left side temple. So, what will the uh, thing result in? Contralateral. Yeah. Okay. So, contralateral homonymous aminopia. Yes, correct. Contralateral homonymous hemianopia. Okay. Is this clear? Okay, one point uh, I told mistakenly that only after lateral geniculate bodies only, there are optic radiations, okay? The optic radiations will go to the parietal and the temporal fibers, okay? Uh, in the few, uh, few minutes back, I had said wrongly that uh, before lateral geniculate, just after lateral geniculate bodies, so there are optic radiations, okay? Some of the fibers are going to the parietal, uh, area of the brain and some are going to the temporal fibers. Basically, there was a collection of nerves here and which has now been in a spreading fashion, okay? Spreading fashion after lateral geniculate bodies. Okay, so if there, now there is defect in the these fibers, then what will happen? Okay, so whenever there is injury to the brain, okay? It's not that whole of the optic radiations will go at a time. Okay. There might be situation where only the parietal lobe is affect, uh, affected and there might be situation only temporal lobe is affected. Okay. So suppose if the right temporal lobe fibers are gone, okay, right? Remember this. Suppose right temporal lobe is affected. And in other situation, right parietal lobe is affected. What will it result in? Temporal will give upper lesion, upper quadrant, and the parietal will give lower, lower. quadrant. Yes. 
Temporal will result in superior quadrant topia. Parietal is inferior. inferior. This you have to remember anyhow. Okay. This you have to remember. Temporal is superior. Okay. If you have uh, temper, you are superior. And uh, par parietal are inferior. Okay. So superior temporal. fibers of both nasal and temporal. Sorry. And the superior part of both the yes. sides. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. So remember, I told you beyond optic chiasma, it is always contralateral. Okay. Contralateral. Suppose the whole optic radiation was affected, it would have resulted in the similar lesion. Okay. Similar lesions because basically only these are the nerves which has been affected. Okay. So these were the nerves which were spreading out. Okay. So the lesion will be uh, almost same, but this, this will look like, suppose this is, if this is para, uh, temporal, there will be superior quadrantopia, like it would appear something like this. Sometimes also known as pi in the sky. Got it? This is right temporal lobe injury. Any doubts here? The patient present with superior uh, quadrant temporal quadrantal hemonopia. Yes. But lien will be on lower side. Lesion will be on? Sir, because temporal fibers are yes, opposite. Fiber will be the inferior fiber will be affected, but there will be superior quadrantopia in case of temporal. Yes, yes. So don't confuse more. Okay, then this is I'm telling you just to solve the question. If right temporal lobe, temporal lobe is affected, the superior uh, visual field will be gone. Okay. Okay, and if the parietal lobe is affected, the inferior lobe will be gone. That will be more complicated and you'll end up getting confused in the exam. Okay. 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 So just remember temporal, if temporal fibers are affected, then you have superior quadrantopia. And if parietal lobe is affected, we have inferior quadrantopia. Inferior quadrantopia. And if the whole optic radiations are affected, you will have similar to the optic radiation lesion. Superior quadrantopia of the temporal field. Of the temporal field, because this that we have shaved uh, that we have shaded is one fourth of the part. No? Not just temporal. Temporal of left eye and nasal of right eye. Ah, yeah. Okay. Both. Both will be gone. Okay. Now the last lesion will be at the cortex. Okay. So the lesion at the cortex will be similar to that of the these optic radiation. Okay. Optic tract, sorry. It will be similar, but there will be a macular sparing. Okay. One dot will be spared here. That is known as macular sparing. Macular sparing is a characteristic of lesion to the cortex. Okay. Why it happens is not known. Okay. So only this you have to remember. Okay. I'll now tell you a trick. I mean, how can you answer easily? Okay. Like suppose they will give in the question, someone's, <clears throat> someone's uh, left temporal and right nasal five, uh, visual field is affected. Listening to my question, someone's left temporal and right nasal field is affected. Okay. Hemi and of left right temporal, optic track. Right optic track. Okay. So there is an easier thing like uh, I told you left temporal and right nasal. Okay. Wherever you find nasal written on the side. Okay. Like it, I mentioned right nasal. Okay, so the lesion would be on the nasal, uh, like it is right nasal. So the lesion would be on the right side of the nasal side. Sorry. 
no no i'm telling like i asked you question left side of the emperor okay. and right okay. side of the lesion visual field are affected so where is the lesion okay so quickly like right nasal right nasal hmm. is affected so wherever it is written right na nasal is written on whichever side right or left okay so the lesion would be on the at side only so i asked right nasal so lesion will be on the right optic tract okay so this is to just confirm whether you are right or not not okay so to answer quickly suppose you have less time okay so this is a just a thing to uh, help you so the, the nasal side will always be on the lean side and the hemianopia will be on opposite side mm, yes now let's go to the question this uh, you'll find that can we go back to the question now yes okay so the first question says there is right temporal visual field loss and left nasal visual field loss where is the lesion now left optic tract left nasal left Right. Somebody left optic tract. Left optic tract. Yes. Left optic tract. Left nasal. Left optic tract. Yes. Left optic. This was the concept of Ben's telling you. They are asking that it is yes. right temporal visual loss with left nasal visual fault field loss. So this is a quick trick to answer such side kind of question when where the lesion is homonymous. Left nasal. Yes. Okay. So left nasal is written. That means nasal uh, nasal one is related to left. That means lesion will be on the left optic tract. Left side. Okay, left optic tract. We got it. So yes. this is yes. solve. I mean, quickly solve the question. Now the second thing by temporal hemianopia, where is the lesion? Optic chiasma. Yes. Optic chiasma. Yes. And the third one, right temporal lower quadrant visual field loss, left nasal lower quadrant visual field loss. Right tail. Again, you can left the right tail, left the right tail. So left temporal, left temporal, left, left the right tail, right tail or temporal? Lower temper has upper. Yes. Temper is superior. So left lower right lower right tail. Yes, right temper is superior. Hmm. Remember, you have brains and uh, brains in your head. That is superior. Okay. So this is this will be on the lower side. That means parietal, and the so side will be left. Left. Okay. Now easy. Yes. Okay. So hope you will solve this question, and this question also gets often repeated. Repeated. Okay. The last one. How did we come to this uh, left parietal lesion? Uh, Doctor Dinesh, is that you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Six C okay. part. C part. Okay, only you will solve solve it out. So there is right temporal lower quadrant visual field loss and left nasal lower quadrant visual field loss. Tell me which side, uh, which uh, side is affected? Left. Was left, left nasal. Okay, left nasal. And uh, okay, now tell me. Uh, it is saying lower quadrant visual field loss in both the eyes. So lower means inferior. So which uh, lobe? Temporal or parietal? Parietal. parietal. Okay. Okay. So it's yes. a parietal optic tract. Okay. So yes. hope you will able to solve this. Remember uh, option eight. Okay. See option eight. That is pretectal nucleus. Pretectal nucleus is related to third nerve. Okay. Pretectal nucleus is related to third nerve. So how does it happen? Like. I told you from here it is related to the third nerve. Fibers will go to the third nerve. Suppose uh, some message is being carried by from the right eye, so it will go to the third nerve. Okay, the pretectal nucleus and the Edinger Westphal nucleus, and the third nerve is uh, the third nerve has characteristic that it will fire information to both the nerves. Okay, both the nerves at a time. Okay, just remember this thing. I'll discuss it in the later coming slides, or maybe tomorrow. 